What up, what up, what up, Diecast Gang? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy KG. Hope everybody having a blessed day. It's January the 7th. Uh, right now it's about a little after 1 o'clock in the morning. It's my birthday. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good myself, guys. Uh, got a lot of catching up to do. Um, today's video, I'm going to do an unboxing. I have a lot of cars that I got on boxes. It's going to take a while, guys. I'm pretty tired. I just got off work at 11 o'clock p.m. yesterday, so right now it's about 1 a.m. in the morning on my birthday. Uh, right now I'm up by myself. Uh, the wife is asleep. Shout out to my wife uh, who always support me. Everything I do, really appreciate. Uh, she gave me my gift a couple days ago. A part of my gift. Right here is my, a hat I'm wearing. Uh, one of the hats she bought me. Um, she bought me another hat. Some, some Jordan, some Jordan ones. She always buying me stuff all throughout the years. So, a big shout out to her. She supports me. Everything I do, and I truly uh, love her. And she's my better half, man. Always pushing me to go harder, do more. You know. Be stronger in every, everything, every aspect. And, uh, I try to support her in the same way. And I'm trying to get better and better at doing what I do every day and supporting her. So, uh, with that being said, we're going to get on with the video. Uh, I just want to apologize for the last video I just dropped yesterday. I had a clip in there that got edited in twice. If you was watching the video yesterday, uh, pretty sure you seen that. I didn't want to take it down because right away some people would jump right on it on the giveaway, and I didn't want to start it all over and have people re-enter. So I'm gonna leave it up. You know, this channel really, uh, really raw and uncut, guys. We ain't I hold back no flaws. It was a mistake. You know, we can get past it. Uh, but. Uh, I want to reiterate the giveaway since I made a mistake in the video yesterday and go over the items once again. Let you guys know how you can get in the, in the giveaway. You can also go down in the comments of this video to enter. But right now, I'm just going to show you a quick glimpse of the giveaway item. Okay, here we are once again, gang. We got a choice. When you enter the giveaway, I'm explaining to you shortly after I show you the items. But um, going from the bottom, I got. Let me move it so I can show you the box. I got a 118 scale Motor Max Pagani Hydra. It doesn't say what year it is. The Diecast Collection family. Um. the box all around I'm not going to give you any of the details I didn't do that yesterday but so I'm going to just drop the box but got that scaling down Jada real quick Jada has uh, been the most model that I've given away throughout uh, all the giveaways that I've done most of the giveaways have been Jada models I kind of follow that theme. I'm a big fan of Jada. Anybody that don't, that don't know that, I collect more Jada, one in twenty-four scale models than anything in my collection. So that's why I'm sponsoring um, a giveaway on this on these items. So here is 1989 Ford Mustang GT. Brand new in the box, never open. None of them, all of them are brand new in the box, never been open. You know, if you don't have this one, you can enter the giveaway. Right here, we got a 1 in 24 scale Jada brand Supernatural John Winchester and a 1967 Apollo SS sports sedan. 
Like I said yesterday, it's a very nice piece. This box is in relatively decent condition. It has an opening trunk with some items in the trunk. If you choose to unbox it, you can see what the items is. Um, <clears throat> also got right here, 2020 Jeep Gladiator, 1 in 24 scale. It's the original. Fast and Furious. Uh, reason I keep saying the original is because they had a Fast and Furious 2 version. It was actually the same exact model. For as far as that I could see, I checked it out. I was going to grab it. I wasn't interested in it because it's the same. It's the same one. It just have a different name on the box, guys. Yeah, so this is the one without the two on it. It has a little bit of. It looked like, I don't know if you can see that, if the camera could pick that up on the door. It looked like it has a little bit of discoloration. You know, I just wanted to point that out. Um, it's not bad, though. I can't tell because it's never been open. Maybe just can wipe it off. I'm not sure. But that's that. I also got available another Fast and Furious, Brian's Nissan Skyline GTR BNR34. And it's teal light pearlescent color. It's a nice model. I own this one also. Unboxed. It's in my Fast and Furious collection. Um, I say, guys, you have, you'll be able to choose from one of the five items. <clears throat> um, if you so happen to win, if you win, after you choose your item, one of the four, one of the five items, you also have the option to, to choose a bonus item, which is either or one thirty second scale Optimus Prime, it's an Autobot, or the Mystery Machine in one thirty second scale Scooby Doo. So. That's that. Uh, if you haven't already, <clears throat> hit the subscribe button. That's what it's going to take for you to enter the uh, giveaway. I'm not asking for much. You must be subscribed. You can subscribe right now. Get down in the comments. It must say, I want to enter the giveaway. Just like that. Uh, I will leave you a comment behind your comment saying that you entered if you if you do it right. Real simple, guys. Make you jump through any loops. Like I said before, last video, real simple and basic. Uh, once you answer, you have until this coming Friday, which is Friday the 13th. Uh, you have until midnight to enter the giveaway, and then, you, then it'll be over with. I'll go live probably next day, Saturday, on Facebook. Facebook Live. I'm going to leave my Facebook information down in the description. So if you don't uh, have a Facebook or don't know a Facebook, then um, you necessarily don't have to, to follow the uh, giveaway on Facebook in order to win. I will uh, announce the winner on YouTube after the giveaway is done, after the drawing is done. So you don't necessarily have to have a Facebook account. Just... Um, you won't be able to watch the laugh when I go laugh and do the drawing. So just keep that in mind. Um, the drawing is probably going to be around noonish, 12 noonish, or 12 on the dot. Either or. It will be Saturday. This coming Saturday. Um, good luck to all the people who answer. And if you got to be a U.S. you got to be a U.S. resident. That's the only niche to the giveaway, guys. I, I'm not doing overseas shipping. Uh, you have to provide your shipping information once it's over with. So also keep that in mind, guys. So that's it. I'm not going to waste too much time on that. I just iterated it. If you need any, uh, have any questions, get down in the comments. Let me know. 
Um, it's real simple. Like I said, you must be subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate all you guys. This is a token of my appreciation to give back to the diecast community. And this is just one of many giveaways that I've done, guys. So if you haven't get involved, get involved now. Um, here's your chance. I'm going to show you guys some more things. I have some unbox I want to do, but I'm going to show you guys the items I'm going to unbox before I unbox them. All right, guys, just like that, I have the daunting task of trying to get all these out of the package, out of the boxes. It's everything that I have that I've been collecting over the past several, maybe just a few weeks. I haven't had the chance to unbox anything, and I wanted to share this, guys. I wanted to share this, guys, this moment with you guys. It's my birthday. You know, I usually don't do unboxings on my video. It's, it's not something I'm really into. You know, it's something I see a lot on uh, YouTube. A lot of people do unboxing videos. It's not something that I really, really gravitated towards or really wanted to add to the channel. But it's nice. I heard somebody say that they like the unboxing. So like, they like to see the video, uh, the cars and vehicles outside of the box. So. Um, I do too, so here we are. I'm gonna turn some light on. I'm gonna get all the cars down off the table. I just wanted to put them here to show you guys. We got uh, X Men, Wolverine, Guardians of the Galaxy, Ninja Turtles, Vita. I have my finally got my Ford GT for my Fast and Furious collection. That's like the last vehicle I was missing from the Fast Furious uh, collection. I have. Um, I'm also missing the um, the Rally Fighter. That's the last final one I'm missing the Rally Fighter, but uh, that's the least one I was interested in out of all of them. So I still have to get it. But here is my Ford Mustang Boss Super Boss. Get it out the box. This is a 1967 Shelby. It's blue and white. Get it out the box. I have my new AutoZone 89 Ford Mustang. AutoZone edition. I just gave one of these away on YouTube, on Facebook. Shout out to JTG. Jerick Farron. Uh... Right now, I'm going to take a moment to shout out a few guys. We got Jared. Um, it's a few guys that always look out for me, always message me, check in on me. Really appreciate you guys. Um, Floyd Williams, Jared, you, you know. Uh, shout out to Hannah over at Flavor Tech. Uh, Derek Johnson. Um, uh, I wanted to put a special mention on a guy uh, named Pancho Ferguson over uh, on Facebook. I believe he subscribed to the channel also. But this guy uh, shipped me for uh, the 2020 Broncos. Ones like this. But I'm going to get to next. When, we first, when they first came out. Four colorways that was available. I was searching and searching. You know, I'm a diehard hunter. That's pretty much what I'm a tire from the hunt. But he found and sent me all four of them. And I barely even knew the guy. So, uh, face the Facebook groups has changed my life, man. It has changed my whole perspective on on groups and and the community and bringing people together and everything. So. Big shout out to him, Pancho Ferguson. I think I'm saying your name right. Last name. Uh, right here I got a 124th scale M2. Um, this one I'm debating on opening or not. It has actually mismatched wheels. Oh, it's gonna be kind of hard to see. On the back it has like some spoke type wheels. In black, and on the front.
front it has like some stillies in black so it's an error piece guys somebody told me not not to open it um I'm not really too much in tune on the value of some of the models and, and trade value and you know I, I got the model because I really really wanted it uh it matches another one of my, my models it matches my uh 57 Bel Air so really uh, want to get it out the box and display it with the rest of the models here we got a, uh, a 56 Bel Air I like the color on this I like that gray with the white it just pops um, of course 71 Camaro red and black I'm gonna get it out the, we're going to get it out the box take a closer look and we got a 72 Cheyenne pickup with an extra set of wheels that we could check out and do a wheel swap. So, <clears throat> got a lot of work to do, guys. This is going to be a daunting task. Uh, a lot of unscrewing. I'm going to do one at a time. I don't know where to start. I'm just going to set them down, clear the table. We're going to do one at a time and get through it, guys. All right, guys. This is going to be a special moment for me because I like anybody who know me know I like to unbox all my my uh, cars. So I always keep the boxes. Call myself making some space here on top of my table across here. So we're just going to unbox one by one. I'm just going to start with the Ford GT. Um, I'm going to get this one out the box. Before I get started, though, guys, I just want to mention, I want to shout out uh, a couple of YouTube channels, guys. Uh, like I said in my last video, I'm a big fan of YouTube. I like what I'm doing. I like sharing with you guys. I started YouTube just to really share with you guys, well, from, uh, share my collection and my experience and my customization uh, skills, teaching you guys some different things on how to do what I know. You know, I try to share it with you guys. And uh, I watch a lot of YouTube guys. So right now I'm going to shout out a few of the channels that I that I watch personally and I enjoy watching. And as far as like diecast channels, um, HW Slab Crusher 2020. I might put it on the screen uh, if I can when I'm editing the video. But HW Slab Crusher 2020 is an interesting channel that I enjoy watching. It's mostly based on 164 scale. This guy puts a lot into his uh, dioramas. And, you know, I kind of find a sass when I watch the channel over the things that he do and the space that he has to, to do the things that he do. Because, uh, personally, I dream of building a, a town for my 164 scales with uh, different stores, gas stations, and houses and whatever the man can come up with but don't have the space for it so I admire his channel uh, spent too much die cast um, this guy does a lot of unboxing so it's like I'm similar to what I'm doing now I enjoy watching his channel um, fast Jimmy 77 now fast Jimmy his channel is a, like uh, a plastic model he do plastic models but he, does customizing. He's an older cat and I enjoy watching him. Um, so shout out to Fast Jimmy 71. The Cairo Diecast Project. The car uh, it might be the Carter. The Carter Diecast Project. I think I'm saying it right. But DJ Project. Uh it's an awesome channel. It's based on mostly one in sixty one in uh sixty four scale. He uh, strips the paint off of them, put different wheels, uh, change the body sometimes, does uh, wire bodies, all different type of stuff on, on this channel. Um, like I said, I might try to shoot the name of the ones that I'm mentioning on the screen. And lastly, uh, Diecast Resurrection, another channel that I watch on YouTube. Uh, I enjoy watching these channels. These uh, are all diecast and car channels, really. 
for entertainment. I watch CJ on 32s. It's one of my favorite channels as far as watching for entertainment. And this channel is CJ underscore on underscore 32. So I've been watching it for uh, the past three or four years, guys, since he's probably been on YouTube uh, from the very beginning. When we first linked up with CJ So Cool. So, big fan, CJ on 32. Shout out to you. And another guy, Corey S. SG, um, been following him for a couple of years now. He uh, has a car channel, and a um, young guy, very inspiring. He uh, modifies and does all different type of cars. So, so big shout out to Corey SSG. He had a bunch of other channels. He had a channel with his wife. It's a bunch of other other car channels I watch too, but I'm not gonna mention because I'll be here all day. But them a few of my favorites. Getting back into this unboxing. Sorry for the interruption, but I just had to do a little shout out. It's my channel, it's my birthday, so I'm just gonna do this how I wanna do it, guys. It might be a long video, so right now, you can get your popcorn, get your, your nice drink, you know, smoke, whatever, kick back, and enjoy this unboxing. I'm just gonna get the thing out the box. I'm just give you a closer look. I'm not gonna show you me unboxing it. All right, here we go, guys. Here it is, out the box. We have opening parts. Shine a little light on the subject. opens there we go guys that's the Fast and Furious 4 GT there's the box put that to the side right now I'll put this one right on the shelf guys we spent too much time on this video but um, it's my Fast and Furious wall I showed yesterday, guys. My, a few other things mixed in, but I have only a couple of more spaces left on this wall. I'm just going to go all the way at the bottom. Space open right here for the Ford GT. Um, I have a few more exotics going straight down the line until you get down to the Ford GT. Got one more space right there, guys. That's where I want to put my rally fighter. Then I will have every single one that came out besides the new ones. Um, do have the Porsche already. There's a couple of more newer ones I'm missing, but I'm not gonna worry about that one. Next up, I'm just gonna grab and go. We got the. 1974 Mustang. Let's get it out the box and take a closer look. Alrighty, here it is, guys. Boss Mustang. 1970, I believe. It's all there. Doors open. That right there. Got the next one. Right down. We got the 71. Now, oh, this is 67. I'm, I'm tripping. 67 Shelby GT500 in blue and white. I'm gone in 60 seconds. Let's get it out. All right, family. Here it is. All in all of its glory. Here she is. Oh, she lovely. Yeah, she is. Mm -hmm. Lovely. It's real good. Got a little 
of scratch paint. Overall, nice addition. And we, if you made it to this part of the video, guys, we got a few, to, we got a while to go, guys. Like I said, it's going to be a while, long video. I have a big box right here, guys, that I got from a Facebook friend. There's a lot of models in here, guys. We haven't even got to that yet. Stay tuned to the end of the video. I will uncover what's inside this box. I took a peek inside of it already. Uh, stay tuned, guys. Be patient with me. Um, Got to get through all these. So, let's see. I'm going to say this one. Let's get the auto zone. Let's get the Bronco out, guys. I don't want to get this one out. See this one. Let's get Okay, here's the Bronco out of the box. Got some big rough terrain wheels. Fifth wheel on the back. Looking real good. Looking real good. Um, nothing opens on it, but all four doors pop off like such. If you want to go for the off road look, I guess pop the doors off. Ride no doors. That's just how they engineered this one, but you can snap them back on. See if I can get them back on. It's shipper. It's supposed to easily snap back on. Let's see if I can put the back from back on first. Still got, still got the tape on them. That's why I'm trying to do it with one hand. So I'm just put set the camera down. The tape getting in my way. Hold on. It's wasting time. Sorry guys, but you get the point. I still ain't got it on the hallway, right? <laughs> Pull the tape off. Big tripping. There it go. So go through all that. Up next. Up oh, next, guys, real quick. Got the 57 Bel Air. Now this is 56, guys. I'm tired. This is my birthday. I'm trying to stay up and fight through it, guys. 56 Bel Air. No, I'm tired. I'm excited. I'm going to do the unboxing. Then I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to do the unboxing on video. Right here is the 56 Bel Air. Two tone. Right here is the blacked out trim. Blacked out front bumper, blacked out wheels, double fast spoke with the buttons, chrome motor radiator, interior, chrome steering wheel, everything is plastic but chrome, trunk opens. Black bumper. And you know, it's the 56. Looking real good. I like, I like the 56 year end model. I, just, I love to swoop down in the back of a 56. One of my favorite Bel Airs. Up next, we got a Camaro. Let's get this 71 out. Out the box and take a closer look. All right, here we are with the '71 Camaro. Out the package, red and black. Blacked out wheels. Z28 on the trunk. Here the pipes coming out the back. 
reloader. All blacked out motor. Love the split bumper on, on these the grill. Here we are, gang. We're getting there. Next, a little auto zone. Been wanting to get this out the box. I got uh, to add to my Fox body collection. Um, this is a limited edition. You can see the number right there. 1989 Ford Mustang GT. Let's get it out. Right, here it is. Oh my god, I really love this one, guys. I really love this one. Funny they ain't putting a license plate on it, it's kind of bulging out, too. The back open, louvers on there, uh, interior. Got a roll cage in there. Hood with a big hood scoop. Motor typically like the rest of them. But I love the color scheme. I love this yellow, black, and silver kind of thing. It kind of goes real good with this car. It's beautiful. Think about stripping the auto zone off the side of it. I showed in a couple of videos in the past how you can remove decals off of cars. But I don't want to ruin the integrity of it because I have auto now I have an auto zone collection. I'm adding this auto zone. And some more auto zones I have. Next guys, we have this 72 Chevy Cheyenne pickup. Get it out the box, get the wheels out. Give you guys a closer view. Okay, we got the 1972 Cheyenne pickup. The black moons and white, fat whites. Oh my god, guys. I just made a mistake and knocked the windshield wiper off. I ain't gonna cut it either. I'll tell you guys the real deal. Look like it can go back on. I didn't break it completely. Thank God I can repair that. Got to put a little small tip amount of glue on the end of it and glue it back on. But as soon as I touched it, guys, it just popped right off. Some of the trimmings and sometimes the mirrors and different things is fragile on these things. That's the reason why they got 8 plus on the box. Because, you know, I'm just going to take it off right now because I don't want to lose it. Blew it back on momentarily. But, uh, yeah, that's the Cheyenne. I don't like the flame. Again, I'm going to do some research and see. I don't believe I can remove the, the flame without removing the, the black. So, I don't know. I like the blue and black two tones, just don't like the flame. I wouldn't mind it says on the back, I stay well. Wouldn't mind that. Being on there, keeping that. Like, it's all great on the interior, you might add some detail in there. But the wheels, I don't like either, so. This does come with an extra set of wheels. And they also option they give you on some of their models. They do charge you a little extra when they give you extra wheels, but we can swap it out and see how it looks with these wheels on it. Alright guys, here she is now with the swap. Still don't Look much better, guys. Looks much, much better. 
I still don't like the flames. Can't get over the flames. And I also can think of a lot of cars that these wheels will look good on. So There's going to be a whole lot of wheel swapping going on, gang. In the future, guys. So you guys have to do some awesome wheel swaps. <laughs> Having cars like these make for good wheel swaps. Extra tires, extra wheels. Still got more to go, guys. Got a D'Angelo, Michelangelo, 50, 50 uh, now Volkswagen. The die cast figure. You're gonna get it out the box and see how it looks. Alrighty, guys, here it is. Got a V dub. It's like a dragster. Got the Michelangelo die cast figure. And these are made out of real die cast, guys. Like, you hear that? That's serious. Some of it is plastic, like, um, part of the belt, the nunchucks, and this arm, and the piece of, parts of it is plastic, but the majority of this body is die cast, and I enjoy that. Um, here's the V-Dub right here. I'm enjoying doing this, guys. It's a daunting task. I'm tired, but I'm still enjoying it. Stand up, Mike. There you go. All right. Continuing on. Up next, got Guardians of the Galaxy, Star Lord, 67 Shelby. Let's get it out the box. Here it is, guys. Another 67 Chevy Mustang GT500. Guardians of the Galaxy. And this, this figure comes with it. Pretty cool piece. I've never seen this before, so I don't really know too much about it. But I just had to have it. That's my third Mustang I didn't unbox so far. I might as well move the move the Bel Air. So I'm down here with the other Shelby. There you go. Alrighty. Continue to move forward. I got two more. Right here we got 2020 Corvette Stingray C8 Corvette Wolverine. Let's get it out the box and take a closer look, guys. Here it is Wolverine Corvette. Marvel to the collection. Go. Here's the figure that comes along with it. Again, most of his body, his head. Wow. I think everything is die cast on this. Even the blades and claws, arms, everything. I think this is a 100% die cast figure. Very nice, guys. Get all them. Piling on, gang. Got one more. Here's a special one, guys. This is the one. Some people, some people told me not to unbox. See it right there. Mishmack wheels. So it's an air piece. As you can see, M2 tape still fresh on there. 
hasn't been broken. Tape on the other side too. Anyway, I don't have anything to prove to anybody, but just in case, as a reference, I had this video, and I'm finna unbox it, guys. Take a closer look at it. I'm curious to see if it has mismatch wheels the same on the other side, because I can't really see. I have a window in the front, but I can't really see on the side of that box, so let's get it out, guys. Take a closer look at it, see what it's all about. All right, guys, here. Here it is in all its glory. As I suspected, the wheels are not mismatched on this side. You only got the one side, guys. It's kind of a bomber for me. I wish it was an arrow on both sides. The same. But. It's cool though, it's different guys. I, I'm going to leave it just like it is. I'm going to take the wheels off of it and do a wheel swap on this one. And if I do, I'm going to put the wheels right back on it. But, I like it though. I, like, I love it guys. There it is. In all of its glory. Look, view of the wheels again. All right, gang, if you made it to this part of the video, I've saved the best for last, guys. I'm really excited about this part of the video. I'm really tired, but I'm going to get this done. What's in this box? Shout out to Travis Lander, the guy who I got this from. Uh, he shipped it out to me. This is a guy I bought it. Um, one of my Facebook friends from the group, Facebook groups. Uh, I done bought around 20 cosmetics guys so far. Uh, he's a real cool guy. Real reasonable prices. You see I got a big box right here. I'm going to get into it. I haven't seen the cars yet. It came yesterday. It was home when I got home from work. So, uh, Let's get to it. I don't really want you to see the, see the address on the box. But, um... You got everything packed in. It had a bunch of styrofoam and stuff in here, but I took a peek through the box to see, make sure if everything was there. You got everything wrapped in bubble wrap, so I'm just gonna get everything out. We're gonna go over each piece one by one. Some of the stuff you can't even see it through the bubble wrap. He wrapped it real well, so shout out to Travis Lander. Great guy. I'm gonna start with this piece. First of all, I'm gonna move all of these over here yeah let me do that right quick gang move all them models over here to this shelf and then uh, we can get to this unboxing all right guys <clears throat> excuse me for these last few cars i'm just gonna uh set the camera down do it like this be a little easier um once i got from travis yeah, real cool guy. Highly recommend them. You know, on Facebook, on Facebook groups. Wrap them up really nice. Oh my god. Super clean to me, guys. Oh my god. Another AutoZone, guys. Now, this is one I didn't even know about. Well, I knew about this one. This is one I wanted to get. Jeez, guys. Awesome Camaro. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Trying to see what year is this. Is. This is the 69. I try to make a few different year Camaros. It's a 69 Camaro. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, another one. Just gonna cut them out the plastic. He said they were in good condition, awesome condition. Some people tell you that. You get your model. Even though they don't got boxes, you gotta really know you dealing with it. Trust them, you know. I kinda trust them. I don't want to speak too fast, but I kinda trust them. Pretty cool guy. 
Packages. He wasn't kidding. This is one I've been wanting to add. It's made like my either third or fourth Grand National, but I didn't have this color. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Travis. It's a beautiful model. Jeez. It's moving right along. Bubble wrap. Bubble bubble wrap. Man. It should be okay. It'll be a long video, guys, I know. I said I normally don't do this, but this is a special. It's my birthday special, guys. I hope you guys watch the entire video. Helped me out a lot, guys. I, I was looking at the YouTube algorithm and the analysis and my, uh, my watch time hours button. But it could be, but I haven't made, been making any content, so I can't really complain. Hopefully, this year, you know. Some of you guys are rocking with me and started watching the entire video. Help me out on my watch time hours. I'm getting the subscribers, but I gotta get the hours to watch time too. So, wow. It's the next piece, guys. I got from Travis. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful truck. They're like some hammer type rims. Another Cheyenne. 1972. Alright. Second Cheyenne we just opened tonight. Remember this one? That was the first one. Let's keep it moving. Days. Best birthday ever. Alright, guys. Got a couple more. Got some double wrap. Good now. Getting close to the end of the video now, guys. You got this up, son. Serious. Great job though, protecting it. Like your wrapping skills, Travis. Teach some other guys how to wrap. Make sure nothing got damaged. Look at this. Got that Mustang GTR. Blue one. Your boy you're in there. I got a yellow one like this with the yellow and black stripes. Some of you might have that one. Didn't have this one though, but uh, I'm proud to add this one to the collection. Thanks again, once again, Travis. It has uh, opening parts. Roll cage. This one has the net. You can see in the inside, no, no passenger seat. But roll cage going through. High wing on the back. Got the GTR right there. Mustang. It's probably backwards because my front facing camera, but yeah, there it is, gang. Okay? Right 
great ones, man. You can send me, you know, some awesome pieces. Got another one in the plastic. One more in the plastic. Bubble wrap. I have bubble wrap for days. You can just cut the bubble wrap right down the middle. Nice little open, nice little open for you. This model, guys. This is, I don't even know what this is. Let's see. Whoa. I got multiple machines. Here we are, gang. Got a one in. 24 scale muscle machines, West Coast Customs. Very beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh my God, these wheels is hidden. I love it. I've been on this Kyrie since I first seen somebody post it. And Muscle Machine did an awesome job with this. Oh my God. Camera now even pick up. The details in the interior. Stupid. Yeah, I can see through the door. The door to the uh, inside to the other one. It's like black and red. Very nice. When I ordered this one. I didn't know what it was. It's a motor in the. Some type of pump in the back. I guess it has air. Air suspension. Back it has some type of battery and a pump. I guess to lower it, lift it up. Sick piece, guys. Sick piece. Beautiful. I still don't know what kind of car it is. Let me know down in the comments if you know what kind of car this is. It's hard to read the bottom. I don't know. It leaves some type of Ford. It just say muscle machines and for it just say Ford Motor Company. There you go. When exhaust coming out the back, very detailed bottom. It almost looks like an M2 on the bottom. Very nice job, muscle machines. Uh, believe it or not, got a couple more. Few more. I say the best for last. I'm not gonna even unbox these guys. I'm gonna unbox them when I don't. Should I do it? Should I do it? It's my birthday. Why not, guys? Hope your video don't go too long where it won't produce a post on, on YouTube. I don't know if I have a, li a time limit, but this is my Barracuda. Another AutoZone piece, guys. Another numbered piece. Okay. I got the camera facing me, so it's probably backwards, but this is only a uh, limited edition of 12,000. And this is 11,966 out of 12K. Get it out the box, guys, and I'm gonna start the video. But all right, guys, get it out the box. Take her off the bottom of it. Get the water tape away. <clears throat> but there it is. Probably not showing as good on this camera. Zone Barracuda. Also has autos on the back windshield, back window. I dig it. This is what I didn't know about. 
know about all the other uh, additions, but I didn't know they had a Barracuda. So it's nice to know now that I have the Cuda and the Camaro, thanks to to Josh. I mean, not Josh, to Travis, getting them mixed up. Thanks to Travis Landa, hook me up. Now I got all the autos on. Completed. Last but not least, guys. Probably my favorite out of all of them. Then I got a 164 scale I got from also made by Mesto. That's the last one if you don't want to stick around. But Fifty-three Street Low Cadillac with the convertible top. Yes, sir. I love my caddies, guys. Let's get it out the box. All right, guys. <coughs> Glory. Beautiful, beautiful car. This um I have another another one too. The same. Just like this, only it's a roll rex. See here. This the street low version, but I do have the roll rex. It had a great top. It's also like a matte black. It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't have the chrome trim all around it. It's one of the throwback original Jadas from the first owners. The first company that owned it. They got the Dyson windshield. Now this top doesn't come off. My other one, just like it, I modified it where the top can come on and off. Probably end up modifying this one also. Uh, trunk doesn't open. It's the doors in the hood. A very nice piece. Very, very nice. That wraps pretty much wraps it up, guys. Got one more I'll give you a quick look at. I'm not going to take it out the box. But uh, if you made it to this far of the video, guys, thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. Um, if you enjoyed the content, make sure you smash that notification bell. Turn on, turn on all post notifications or turn your notifications to all so you won't miss a single video from your boy. Here we go. Here we go, here we go down. Yes, sir. It's an 87 Chevy 1500. That's a Maestro Designs. 1 in 64 scale. I got a bunch of 64 scale still in the box. So I don't have anywhere to put them. But thanks for watching anyway, guys. I enjoyed this. This is like the best gift ever. To be able to unbox everything and enjoy it. Enjoy my collection, guys. It's been sitting for a while. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I've been wanting to get back to YouTube for a while, guys. So, like I said, if you're watching this, if you watch me for the first time, hit that subscribe button. Um, and the giveaway, guys. I still got now until Friday. Friday the 13th at midnight. And then this giveaway will be over. Sold the items already. Good luck to anybody who answers. I'm tired. It's now probably about 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm finna give me a quick snack. Lay down. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with your boy. And if you wish me happy birthday, I appreciate that too. Peace.